What's going on? So today we've got a very cool knife with a couple little issues and some confusion behind it in my mind. So let's dive into this. This is from Resco Instruments, and it was loaned in from Gary, uh, my good buddy, who always sends me his brand new knives. He has not seen this one yet, and it came directly from Resco Industries Instruments, which is down in Southern California in San Diego area. So... It's really a plain Jane worker knife. No question about that. This thing is beefy. It's built. It's not necessarily overbuilt, but it's, it's a good, strong knife. And I'll put all the specs down below so that we don't waste time talking about that. Um, but it is the MDCF, which is the... Mekong, Mekong Delta Combat Folder. And I may be pronouncing that first one incorrectly. I don't know. Uh, it is a thumb disc, which is not generally my favorite deployment method, but this thumb disc is done super well. Again, very plain blade. Okay. It also is a front flipper, which again is not my favorite deployment either. Because I just, I don't get it. I'm not sure what the appeal is necessarily. I, I, uh, whatever. Okay, we're not talking about deployment methods here. We're talking about a cool knife that is made by Gooseworks, which is really made by Best Tech. So I'm a little confused by all of that. And it's designed by R.E. Smith. Rob Smith, who started Resco Instruments. And Resco Instruments, uh, Rob Smith is a former Navy SEAL for many years. I don't have his whole history. Um, but he started out making watches. And if anybody from Resco is watching, I would love to check out one of your watches. Um, because I'm confused by them a little bit too. They're They're very expensive, and I want to know what the secret sauce is because they're very Seiko-ish looking. They use Eta movements, 300-meter uh, water resist, you know, 42-millimeter, standard Seiko affair, and they're like $2,000. So I'm, I, I want to know what the secret sauce is. I know that they have been tested by Navy SEAL cadets in BUDS, which is their training school. And so they are hardcore watches. I don't know. If anybody has a Resco watch, please reach out to me. My email is in the description. Okay. Let's take a close up look um, because I would love to check out one of the watches and find out what the secret sauce is and why they're priced the way they are. Uh, you know, you get it. So it's very cool. Just, again, plain Jane worker knife. Big, huge pivot. Like, I'm sure that the pivot is very, you know, normal size inside, but a very big pivot head. So I don't love the Resco instruments on the pocket clip. Eh, you know, I could have done without that. I could have done without the T6. On the pivot, I would rather them do T8s everywhere as opposed to T6s. Um, I am not familiar with, nor could I find, CPM S20 CV. So I don't know if that's a new variant of 20 CV or if that's a typo that got engraved. I I'm not sure on that. So forgive me if I'm just unaware of an S20 CV. Uh, I don't know what the 045 is. I don't know if that's the serial number of this one or what. That I'm not sure. Runs on phosphor bronze washers. Super solid lockup. With a lock bar insert. Even though on their website they talk about it being a carbonized 
lock face. So it is a steel lock bar insert and the oversized pivot here acts as the over travel stop. So all in all, I think it's really a cool knife. It feels really good in the hand, super solid. Uh, it's a finish that I wouldn't worry about scratching up. It's just a true worker tank of a knife. Uh, they're about 400 bucks on their website today at the time of filming. Uh, so I, I really kind of like it. Um, knowing it's Gary's, I am going to process some cardboard with this, which, what am I going to process? I'm going to cut up some cardboard, break down some cardboard. Uh, I'll do a couple size comparisons here. Uh, here it is with the Sharpie and the number two pencil. I'm going away for this weekend. Uh, so I'm filming a couple before I leave. Spider Codelica. So I will do some cutting and, you know, go through some cardboard when I get back with this knife, but I'm sure it will do just great. It is super sharp. So I do appreciate that. Double uh, A and D cell batteries. It's not a light knife. Let me just touch on that. It's 6.1 ounces. Your D battery is five ounces. So it's a little heavier than a D cell battery. Let's go with the Hellraiser P series. This comparison. And since I have it, how about the Medford Knife and Tool USMC Fighter Flipper that sometimes flips with a bunch of wrist in the donut motif configuration. And just because it's kind of a plain Jane also, the Shark Nivco Ryu. One of my favorite knives. And I'm glad to have it back after loaning it to a therapeutic edge for his channel. So Gary, my friend, thanks for loaning this in. It's starting to break in. I can feel it smoothing out as I use it. So I think you're gonna really like this one. But if you see the video and you don't like it, then just let me know and I'll just hang on to it. No need for me to spend the shipping to send it back. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I will put a link to the Resco website down below and have a great day.